Oh, Albert Subshaw, survival specialist, man of danger. Welcome to my home. I'm going to take you through these jungles and show you how you can live and survive off what we've got naturally. Come on, follow me. Smiling, I dancing bear, outrageous, alarming, courageous. What we have got nowadays in the jungle is a new super breed of squirrel. What we think's happening? Something's contaminating the water. It's getting up into the trees, right through the food chain. And the squirrels are eating our nuts. And it's just sending them batty, I tell you. They just start throwing things. And if you oh look up there now. And you see that bastard just got me. Bastard. You see it's up there, it's throwing things now. You know those squirrels? I was talking about before. Well, I've trapped one down, this little nest down here. I've seen it come in. I'm just gonna get it out for you, see what it'll look like. So, I'll just see if I can watch the little beauty out. Come on, come on. Oh, bloody hell, there's two of them in there. Oh! Ah! Bloody hell! Eee, them bastards got me! Eee, bloody hell! Hey, bloody hell! Eee! Hey, I'm not here! I'm not bloody joking! Bloody give a hand! Bloody hell! Hey. Oh, bloody hell! Jesus. So, uh, your public, you shouldn't be putting your hand in places like that. But you see, with my training, I can do it and I can get myself out of a situation. Right, I found one of those little buggers now. That's what you do. You little dirty, evil, fucking asshole bastard. Big fucking tooth. And that's what you do. The vermin in the jungle. See these leaves here? Snap one off. Bring the water to the edge. Beautiful. Lovely. Fresh clean water. Normal people need about three or four pints of water a day. I can survive on 10 millilitres. That's only because of my years of training in the jungle. Now, you see this one? One of my favourites, this one. Again, all agree with two of you. <laughs> right, now then, when you're going to survive at night in the jungle, what do you do? Well, you build yourself a bivouac. Now, what you need, nice, sturdy base for your bivouac. Somewhat, you know, like that. Then, what you need is a load of loose wood. Leaves, a bit of moss to pack it all together with, and then you just start moving. Okay, so as you can see, a beautiful bivouac there. Now, this will protect you for well, days. Now, all you do, get in, slide under, you're protected from wind, rain, snow, animals, other people, anything. No one can see you in here, you're like completely camouflaged. It's beautiful, comfortable, warm, dry, and well, what more do you need at the other night? Oh, bloody Nora! Oh, shit! Oh, bloody dog shit down there! Oh, bloody hell, can you smell that? Oh, it's bloody awful stuff, man! Bloody Nora! Now then, what have I spotted down here? A very, very rare example here of a short-necked tree dragon. Very, very vicious. It's got teeth like razor blades. You'd have your hand off before you even thought about it. Ah! Ah! 
So you've got your shelter, you know where to get your water from, your leaves. What do you need next? You need food. Okay. I've got my squirrel that I killed earlier. And you'll find the most nutritious part is tail. But how do we cook the squirrel? Well, fire. So that's the next lesson. How do you make fire in the jungle? Okay, so you get yourself a couple of logs and a little bit of dry kindling okay so all you want is a bit of kindling and then just to make a spark from your logs it's absolutely simple forget matches or anything all you need is what you've got around you come on come on there you go on go on you bugger Bloody Nora, come on, get in there, come on, in it. come on, yeah. I'll tell you what we'll try next, what you need is to make a bow, so, okay, so we've got the bow, nice, little bit of wood, bit of jungle grass, stick in between, rolls up and down like that, so, you've got your kindling, the other log and just roll it up and down. Keep rolling up and down like that. Okay. What the bloody hell? I've had your bloody brother, you know. I think oh, it must be wrong wood. Oh, bloody hell. Bloody ball snapped. Now, that is a bit of an off. Yeah! Fucking bastards! What the bloody hell? I bloody have all you! Right, so what do you need next then? I don't know, we've got a bloody lighter. Right, okay. Right, so, protect your kindling from wind. Assemble your little sticks around it like that. Okay, and then just light your kindling up. Quite simply. A bit more dry kindling. That's it. Light your kindling up. Very simple. When the logs normally work, and, you know, what bow, I tell you, lights it should have worked, but it's not to bloody do it anyway. Okay, so, I finished my tea. Lovely raw squirrel. Can't beat it. So, I'm now going to settle down for the night. It's light at the moment, but in the jungle, it goes dark like that. And in five minutes, you're going to be able to see where you're going. So, just get in, into your nice dry bivouac. Get your head down. Think about the day, and the day ahead. Ah, lovely. Hey, I tell you what. Hey, my stomach's dodgy. I think... Oh, there might be some dog shit on that leaf. Oh, bloody hell. Bloody fingers are bloody sore and all. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, anyway. Oh. Still smell that bloody dog shit now. Bastards. Yeah. Not so bloody warm either. Hey. Yeah. There's sticks everywhere. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. 